I'm going to show you how to create a signature in your email. Um, I'm using Outlook 2007 that when you hover over the picture it actually gives you the control link to go to a specific URL, in this case to my Twitter icon. I do also have it spelled out here. I'm not sure if both are necessary with the different types of options people have to read their emails. Um, so I included both in there just to be on the safe side. Um, your first thing you want to do um, is to take whatever picture you want and I will include in the blog post a couple of resources with an unbelievable amount of icons to choose from. Um, and you want to resize it to whatever sizes you want on your particular page. Um, in this case, um, I always use Picnic. It's free, super easy to use. Apparently I can't type very well. Um, while that's um, uploading, what I'm going to do is go to Outlook 2007. You go to Tools, Options, Mail Format, Signatures, and I'm going to actually create a new one. Type name for this, um, whatever. This is internal for yourself only. Um, and then you want to, you'll eventually insert a picture in here. Um, so what we're going to do here, we're going to upload a photo because we're going to make it a little smaller. Um, I have a whole folder here of social media icons. I'm going to start with the smaller set. I'll pull that one in. Twitter, right now this is 48 by 48 pixels. I certainly want to make it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to go to resize and I'm going to say... 25. Yeah, that looks about right. All right, save this. Um, in this case, I'm going to rename it to 25 so I have some visual indication of what size it is. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. All right, and I'm going to go back. I am going to go into, I'm still back here at the signatures section, Outlook, insert picture, find the picture that you have, um, Twitter 25 in this case, and go ahead and insert it. Then you're going to go click on your picture, and then you're going to click on this hyperlink, insert hyperlink there, and you're going to type whatever you want as far as the um, direction um, where you want people to go. In this case, it remembers what I've typed in before, and what I did on my other one is If you also want this text to be a hyperlink, you have to go here as well and collect, select that um, and insert the HTTP there. OK. And OK. <clears throat> what I'm going to do in this case is I am going to, this is going to be my default signature for Oh, hang on a second here. Use it for my virtual assistant one. There we go. For new messages. Test. All right. Click OK. Click OK. Not sure this is going to work here. We're going to check. Ah, there we go. Then again, if you hover over it, there you see the control click to follow link. And that then will take um, whoever visits that. Um, link on your site will take them directly to your Twitter account or LinkedIn, whatever you want to set it up. So there you go. That's how easy it is to do that.